Hey guys, it's RepduWorks Aquatics. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different, at least for the start of this video. Uh, I had a uh, request in my comments to show the knives, or the, the knife collection that I've got up on my wall. So we're going to do that. And I'm also going to take the time to show you this knife collection pretty much because uh, they're no longer on my wall anymore. Um, you may have seen in my previous videos where um, in the background there was just knives on my wall. They're no longer up there because I have, as of the last couple of weeks, built a uh, rack system for more snakes, which I will show you that as well. It's mostly empty at the moment, but it's for more snakes to eventually move into. So yeah, we'll get into the knives. So first of all, I've got to show you this one. I quite like this one. Um, look, I'm not going to go into immense detail on these. Uh, I used to kind of buy these and stick them up on the wall when I was a lot younger, and they just literally sat there for years. So yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail with them. I'm just going to show them to you. So first of all, I've got this one. This one's kind of cool. Uh, it's got magnets in the um, blade, so it actually <clears throat> actually snaps apart into two. So yeah, kind of cool. But yeah has a sheath that it goes into like so as well. So yeah, that's the first one. Okay, next one is this one. And this one. So these two oh, <laughs> I'm trying to fit in frame. These two actually came as a kit. They came together. So yeah. Kinda cool. I quite like this one especially. <laughs> Next we've got this hunting knife, which I've actually taken camping and stuff, so it's actually had some use. Not for actual hunting, just other things you do when you're camping and you need a knife to cut something, I've used this. So, next one is this one. I think this is apparently a diver's knife or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> it was just up on the wall, I don't even know where I got it, to be honest, I think it was given to me. This one I have absolutely no idea where the hell I got this. <laughs> its handle is so freaking heavy and so fat too. So, yeah, kind of cool. I don't really like the green and gold handle though because all my other knives are kind of black or gray or something like that. They're a neutral color and then I got this random green handle sticking out amongst them also. It kind of actually ruins, well, ruined um, my little wall of knives I had, used to have, this bright green, but other than that, it's a pretty cool knife. It's um, one of my sharper ones too. But, yeah. This is just kind of your generic um, sort of knife that I think everyone has at some point or another when they have knives. So it's just the generic one you see everywhere. I don't know what it's called, but um, yeah. This is actually one of the first knives I bought. Didn't originally buy it to go up on a wall, I just bought it. But it ended up on the wall at some point or another. It's so freaking old. It's I bought this when I was like 15 or 14 or something. It's just this little um, Excalibur um, pocket knife. So blunt as hell. It used to be sharp, but it's, it's like, you know, so many years old now. So yeah. Random little dagger. <laughs> Again, don't know where I got it. Another dagger. Again, don't exactly know how I got it or where I got it from. I, I don't think I would have chose this myself. So I don't know where I got it from. Okay, so this um, supposedly is a replica from a knife used in the Vietnam War. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I didn't know that when I got it, but it looks kind of cool. It's got an eagle head for the butt end of the handle. So, yeah. And there's this. I quite like this one. So this actually like turns into a star, which honestly seems kind of useless like that. I think it's more of a display purpose for that, otherwise you can just snap it back and 
pull it apart into two uh, end of it, two single knives you can use. Well, I mean, you can fold one one end of this down and just use it like a normal knife, or you can have it out like so, I guess. So yeah, and it does just snap back together into the start. So yeah, more like so. Oh, it's so dusty, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> this is literally like um, how long these things sit around for. Because uh, I don't touch these, they just sit up on my wall or up on my. God, it's so dusty. Yeah, they just sit around and collect dust. That's why I've taken them down. Um, and also, like I said, I built that new snake rack, which has gone in the place of where my knife wall used to be. And the snake rack I built is quite tall, so I had to just take them down regardless. So. But yeah, I've got this, this sword as well. I think it's a ninjutsu sword of some sort. So, yeah. That's pretty much that. Um, I have a couple other swords, but I can't show you guys because they're not with me. They're in storage or they're somewhere. I can't get to them right now. So, um, yeah. That's basically it. Right, well that is that. I am going to show you guys real quick the um, rack system I built for these um, the snakes I will be uh, getting soon. I've got a couple of my snakes in the new rack system already which have needed an upgrade in size of um, their enclosures but uh, that's it. I got four vacant tubs still to fill. I've also got another rack system I'll be building soon for hatchlings uh, that's going to replace my current hatchling rack system because it's not big enough. It's just like a little three stacker one when I first started with a few hatchlings but now I need more than that so I'm going to build maybe a six or an eight stacker uh, rack system which you'll get an update on that when it happens but I will show you guys this one now. Okay guys, so this is pretty much my rack system. I got three tubs up top. TV in the middle of course because, well, my TV was where this rack system is so I wasn't getting rid of the TV. So the TV's in the middle and three more tubs below. So yeah, it's quite tall. It's about as, it's pretty much the same height as my wardrobe. So yeah, I made this a few weeks ago. So I got couple of snakes in the bottom for now but I got all these tubs to fill and then I got my hatchling one to do after this so that's pretty much this um, as you can see I've just got these tubs here which I've just drilled uh, holes in the sides pretty much and to pretty much I've managed to heat this whole system with one power point or with one plug sorry what I've done I'll show you is Like my little snake hide that I made too. I had some spare wood, so I made a few of these, um, these little snake hides. Nothing fancy, but you know, it does the job. Anyway, so I've made a few of those out of the spare wood that I had left over from this. So, what I've done to heat this, I've drilled holes in the back, threaded through a heat cable. Uh, I've got a heat cable that is long enough to run through all six shelves so this one heat cable just runs through each uh, shelf and I've just drilled holes and threaded it through so that's pretty much how I've heated it I've also got it plugged into the thermostat with the thermometer sensor in one of the uh, tubs so I can keep an eye on the temperature as well so yeah that's pretty much it so that was that guys, that was my little knife collection, um, and that was my new rack system I made. So that's all I've really got to update you guys on the last couple of weeks it's been, I guess, since my last video. I know some of you guys are probably keen to see my new uh, children's python you saw in my last video. Probably keen to see him eating, because uh, I didn't get to film him eating when I first got him. He uh, took about a week to settle before he ate anything. But he is eating now, so we're going to jump into that and get him feeding for you guys. So unfortunately guys, the uh, children's python wasn't hungry. I tried feeding him a couple of times for you guys and he just wouldn't take the food. I guess it's still full from the last feed he had, so that's all good. Uh, I'll feed him for you guys in the next video. So you will eventually see it. 
That being said, I'm not going to leave you guys with nothing to look at reptile related today. So instead I'm going to feed my monitor so you guys can enjoy that. Well, it looks like Isaac, uh, the monitor, enjoyed his, uh, his mouse there. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Also figured while I'm here, I'll give you a quick update on uh, Chewy, the beta dragon. So, as you can see, he's doing quite well. Yeah, still friendly. <laughs> Considering how he was when I got him, you guys know, he was quite a... Um, well, he's not used to being handled and very afraid of people, but now he's um, very calm, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, he's great. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little update on him, see how he's doing. Think you want some carrots, don't you? <laughs> yeah, well I got some carrots uh, set aside for this guy, I'm going to give those to him. And I got a few other animals I got to feed too. So, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. See you guys in the next vid. Don't forget, give us a like and a subscribe. Say bye. <laughs> he doesn't even care. <laughs> He's actually looking at the snake right behind this camera. <laughs> He's just looking at Monty stretching up on the glass. Yeah, he doesn't like him. Alright, catches. Bye. Don't